Hi, guys. Hello. Can you guys Hello. hear me? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Yes, All right. Yes. Hi. How was your weekend? Nice. Okay. It was okay. It was okay? Yes. Thank All you. All right. Very good. Nice. It was okay. It was a little okay. busy. Hi, okay. Jonathan, okay. Amilcar, Armando, Efraín, Vero, Hi. Lidia, Roxana, John, Miguel, Eddie, Casey, and Efraín, and Eddie. Very good. All right, guys. So, uh, we're going to begin today with uh, talking about places and describing them. Not a very difficult topic at all. It's just yeah, the practice of speaking a little bit, all right? Have you guys just studied the platform? Have you guys studied the platform? Have you seen it? Yes, no? Kind of? All right. So, lo que oigo una bullita por ahí, no sé dónde será. Si ponen su microfonito off, so there's no interruptions for the rest of us. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So, we're talking about uh, descriptions of places. All right. So, this is, I'm going to show you uh, the video that is very short. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna be back here and I'm gonna show you the pictures that I want you to talk about, okay? All right. uh, I think it's Efrain, Mike. Yeah, I think so. Efrain, are you there, Efrain? Yes, I am. All right. Because we, yeah. I don't know if it's in your house, but there's like a small noise, little noise. <laughs> All right, if you don't mind, thank you. All right, okay, guys, so this is what it is here. This is on the platform. So what we have is, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? All right, so here we have, uh, let me see, Amilcar, do you mind reading what you see on the screen, please, of the uh, describing a city? Okay. Read it, please. Okay, describing a city, uh, this word describes different features of a city. Can you Hold give on. a okay. Can you give me a second? I'm sorry. Can you give me a second? Okay. All right. Okay. Can you hear me? Amilcar, you can hear me, right? Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Okay. So Amilcar, can you begin reading again? Okay, no problem. Thank uh, you. Describing a city. Mm -hmm. This word describes different features of a city. Can you give a, bit, a definition uh, for each word or phrase? Which features are most important to you when you are choosing a city to visit? All right, very good. Thank you, Amilcar. All right, and then right after that, we have some um, adjectives or some words that we can use to describe a city, about features of a city, all right? So let's see, Jonathan, can you read the first two? Julio, the, the, the other two? And let's see who's after that. Efrain, you may read the other, that would be five and six. Miguel, can you read six, seven, and eight, please? I think we have eight words. Um, do you hear me? Yes, of course, Jonathan. Uh, so uh, the first two is architecture and cuisine. All cuisine. right, very good. Yeah, that's a difficult one. All right, Julio, mm -hmm. can you read the other two? Um, Festival. Very good. All right. Very nice. Efrain, can you read the other two after festival? Maybe he's not there. Roxana, can you read it for us? No? All right. Eric. Oh, Roxana can read it. All right. Ro Go ahead, yeah. Roxana. Thank you. Uh -huh. Historical sites uh -huh. in my life. Very good. And Miguel Angel, the last two. All right. Scenery and shopping. Shopping. Okay, so here, guys, we only have eight uh, vocabulary words that can help us talk about cities, all right? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you like about five minutes, and I'm, I'm going to time you this time, all right? So I'm going to send you right now to your groups, and I want you to come up with a definition, but I don't want you to Google it, all right? I want you to come up with a definition from me, like your own words. To, for example, if I'm working with Eric, 
together we're going to define what, what is architecture, all right? And we're going to define what nightlife is, okay? And then we're going to come back to the group, to the main group, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you some pictures, and then we're going to talk about that, all right? To get it? Okay, so I'm going to say, oh, the, I'm sorry, did you, were you able to take a picture of this? Or I don't know if you have your um, platform open. If you want, you can take a picture right now. So you know what the vocabulary is. Can you see it? All right. All right, ready? Guys ready, yes? Okay, very good, okay, thank you. So I'm gonna send you right now to your groups, discuss and come up with a definition for each word, all right? On your, like your own definition. I don't want a Google or, you know, any, any other dictionary kind of definition. I want your definition. All right, so we have here, eight, uh, we have 16 participants, so you guys are working in pairs. There you go, you may start clicking away, please. Hi, Vero. Vero, can you hear me?
Hi, Efrain. Only in Metapan, the, the, the pupusa is cooking in this, in this way. For example, yeah. this is cooking. How, how do you guys make pupusas in Metapan? Huh? How do you guys Sorry? make pupusas in Metapan? No, it's, it's an example. Uh, I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. It's different. No, it's different. It's different is because, it? uh, yeah, it's different because you can eat uh, pupusas in Metapan. Uh -huh. Really different than the pupusa that you hit on a uh, popa, on a Oh, really? Uh, I told you, I told you because, for example, um, are you from Salvador? Uh huh. I'm from San Salvador, yes. Okay. Butter loves to hit pupusa. It doesn't matter if it's for corn or uh -huh. for rice. Okay. It matter. Here in Metapan, people don't like their rice pupusa. They love only corn pupusa. Oh, really? Yeah, that's true. Ah. It's funny because when I went living in, in a popa, uh -huh. most people is, is hitting pupusas, rice pupusas, yeah. not corn pupusas. Oh. They don't like the corn pupusas too much. But in Salvador, you can find wherever. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, both. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to go to Metapan because I don't like arroz pupusas. <laughs> well, just, just let me know. Just let oh. me know. All right, cool. Thank okay. you. Very nice. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep on working, okay. guys. You're doing fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, um... hi. 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 How are you girls doing, Lydia and Vero? Yes, we finished. You with finished? You uh... finished already? Yes. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Let me see here. So, for you girls, how do you define historical sites, for example? Here. In how do you define it? I think one can be the Central Park. All right, but I, I need a definition, not an example. How would you define it? What is historical uh, site? It's like... The history, the history of our city. Okay. Um, it means the... Places that have history. Parts. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. Places that got history, right? Very good. Yeah, nice. Interesting. Like... Okay. Very nice. What about... How would you define costumes? Uh, it's like aduana, but I, I don't know how to give you a definition or example of it's, that it's a i don't know it's oh, about be... customs now, Costumbre. now. Costumbres? Co yeah yeah, that yeah will very be. good yes that remember will be. that yeah very good because of the context we should follow the other one the second one that you told me all right because the first ah, one customers. you're right it's like aduana right but not in this context right now right so costumes would be like what? Give me a synonym, like in a, another simple. Would be something, something with a uh, you pass through families and families. Or like tradition. Tradition. Yes, very nice, excellent, girls, very good. And the last one, scenery. How would you define scenery? It's like places that have a good view. Okay. Like examples, lakes or something sure. like that. Yeah. All right. Very good. Let me go check in one more group and then we're coming back to the main group, all right? Okay. Thank okay. you, girls. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me see here. Something like a parties tonight. Yeah. Hi, yeah, Ellie. Hi, Roxana. Are you talking about parties or something? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, All right. I don't know. Cool. I don't uh -huh. know anything about. I don't know anything about nightlife. A nightlife. <laughs> Why not, Ellie? I never have done. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and is it because you don't like it, or is it because you're from Etapan, right? Mm, I'm not living in Metapan right now. And okay. My family, my family is so conservadora. How is it conservador? Ah, very conservative. Yeah. Kind of so, like old-fashioned kind of? Hello? All right. Yeah. All right. Interesting. All right. Very good. Okay. But um, if you would have to define for me what nightlife is, what would you tell me?
What is night life? Mm, like the life in the night, like um, going to parties at night. Or, okay. Uh, teacher, I yes, think it's, it's go out every night, I think. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Not necessarily like going out every single night, but nightlife is, for example, like there is activities that happen at night. Not only, I mean, sometimes people misunderstand, like it's only about partying, but not necessarily, yeah. right? Like it can be like restaurants, like it can be museums open at night, movie theaters mm -hmm. open at night, not only the bars and the clubs and all that. But, I mean, also, right? <laughs> but it's about everything, you know? Like sometimes say people say, the city never sleeps because they always have many activities and not only like drinking, but it's like about anything. Yeah, but the next one, teacher. Yes. Scenery, how we say, uh, what do you mean? Ah, um, yeah. scenery yeah. would be like the view or the uh, landscapes of a place, maybe? That would be scenery. Mm -hmm. Like, like, okay. Like what you see when you go out, you see, like, like, like but it, it is related to like landscapes, you know, like, for example, if you go to, I don't know, on the road to Sonsonate, you can see the volcano, you can see the mountains, you can see yeah. the mountain range from Apanek and all that. So that's scenery. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Very nice. Um, Thank you. You're almost finished, right? <laughs> to you thank you again <laughs> all right very thank nice you. we're gonna go back right now so we have time okay. to do the other activity all right thank you girls okay, okay. okay. all right hello guys everybody's back or coming back right now all right, very nice. All right, guys, um, I went in in a couple of groups and I was like listening to your synonyms. Remember that right now, I don't want examples. I want you to define what those words mean, all right? Later, we're going to give examples, okay? So who can give me a definition, your own definition about architecture? Anybody? I'm all ears, uh-huh. Um, well, architecture refers to characteristics uh -huh. of the style of, mm. of buildings. Okay. All right. Now, if I have to ask you guys, and like this, like most of you are from Metapan, if I have to ask you, what is the architecture of Metapan? How would you define it? Is it like, I don't know, how can you tell me? I want to picture Metapan. Like, how is the architecture in Metapan? Anybody? Honestly, it depends on, on the building we are speaking of. <laughs> because uh -huh. I, uh, Well, it depends on the, of the building we are speaking of. Because uh -huh. if I recall, the church of uh -huh. the center church. Yes, the, yes. Yeah. It, in a certain style, but there is another, the... Church, right. The Church of El Carvalho that is in another style, I think right. one is, I don't remember if it's Star Road and the other is Gothic. No, I okay. can't remember. But. All right. Okay. Right. I mean, that's like being specific and very like, you know, this is that kind of style of architecture, but like, is it kind of like, like a modern architecture now, not only about the churches that were built long ago, but like the houses. Do you guys like what is your um, type of buildings that you have? The type of housings that there are more in Metapan now. Now, now it's changing everything here because uh, maybe twenty years ago everything was like for Hispanic, you know. Right. Okay. But now you can find nothing like that because uh, only in the in the in the center of the town okay. you can right. find many ten or house like this okay but no more everything's coming um, new like and modern kind of yeah like a yeah. Paris, like a francesa all like right that. okay all right interesting yeah, yeah. all right very nice the teacher, teacher yes yes teacher. Tell me. 
I think when we talk about architecture, we also talk, we're also talking about the kind of materials we use sure, to build. Yeah, of course, yeah. yes. Yeah, All so right. it depends on the maybe it depends on the economic level of everyone. Right, of course. Build. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All yes. right. Very nice. Interesting. All right. What was uh, the other one? Yes. Anybody else? Yes. Me Amilcar. Me yeah, Metapan is known for the white city. The historical downtown is the is common to to show or to look at uh, the the building mm -hmm. uh, use a, a a paint with a color white. Oh okay. white color, yeah. Ah. It's common to see, yeah. Oh really? All right. That's that is interesting, you know, because in some towns many houses are painted like very colorful all right but yeah that's kind of like you know the architecture and characteristics of a place right interesting very nice cool all right what about the second one guys remember what it was so i, I don't have to like go back to the presentation what was the other the vocabulary or the second word cuisine cuisine right okay so who can tell me about what does that mean Anybody that can tell me what it means? What is your own definition? Well, it deals with, deals with cooking. Yes, deals with cooking and food, right? Good, right. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, so Idalia, if I was like, if I was to go to Metapan tomorrow, and I, if, is there something that you would say, Idalia, you're from Metapan, right? Idalia, Idalia? Yeah. All right. So if, is there something that you would tell me, Jessica, you have to try this because you won't find it anywhere else in San Salvador. Is there anything particularly from Metapan? Okay, first you need to go to the park. Okay, cool. <laughs> then before going to the park, you have huh? to go to La Cocina de Mamana. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> And everybody because, smiles, okay. <laughs> because it's food, it's really, I like that uh, the food there. Well, okay. it's my dad's restaurant. <laughs> All so right. You need it today. Okay. And then you can go to the park. And, and if you want to play, I don't know if you like to play basketball. Mm. or soccer or mm. do you want do you like to or i don't know you like walking or things like that you can go to the i don't know what the name of this car which is in in linda vista i think okay linda vista park linda vista park so okay. you can go there all with right your family okay your friends. cool all right and what about a is there anything and this is not only for idali is there for like anybody is there anything that you guys yeah. make in metapan that i need to try and taste and eat at least once uh -huh. you need to try uh pumpkin and requesón pupusas oh uh so i think that is normally called hijo de piña is only eaten around this area cool <laughs> okay um What else? Ah, sweet chuco. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. It's sweet. It's not yeah. salty. I hate I salty can't chuco. understand the people that eat salty chuco. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's it's like like tasting saliva oh when you eat goodness. salty chuco. <laughs> Come on, Jonathan. Yeah. Thank you for that description. <laughs> yeah, right. that. Oh, okay. Okay, so what? How do you call those? Like those are pupusas that you mentioned before. Yeah, it's it's a kind of pumpkin and okay. requesón. Oh my goodness! Okay. Like that that would be ricotta, but I think requesón is not yeah, the same yeah, as ricotta. Yeah, no. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Interesting. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go and I, I'll try them. Okay, what was the third one? The third vocabulary word? Um, customs. Customs, all right. So definition for that word. Eric, you've been quiet tonight. Uh -huh, Hi, Eric. Tell me about customs. How can you define it? Eric, Eric, where are you? I see you. <laughs> Hello? 
I help you if you want? Hi. I can't hear it. Anybody else then? All right, there, uh, there he is. Eric? Yes. Hey, hey. Okay. You hear me? Yes, I hear you now. Okay. So, custom, we define as part of a culture on a specific city. Oh, very nice definition. Okay, it sounds like Google definition, but I know you didn't. No, do that. Google, I know you did we, great. All right. <laughs> okay, no, it's a very sophisticated definition. Perfect. All right. So, um, is there any like customs, Daisy, from Metapan that I would like that I would you know enjoy seeing there, Daisy? Is there something specific that you can think about, or anybody? Something that, for example, in uh, Quesaltepec, están las bolas de fuego, for instance, is a tradition that they do. All right, but what about Metapan? Do you have anything special like that, guys? Yeah, we have the water day. Yeah, all the people live on the, on the street uh, with uh, bags with water inside. Okay. And, and they throw it? Them. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. And, and, uh huh. And, on my side, there's uh -huh. one that I usually do participate every year. That oh is, oh my goodness, uh, Miguel! But I think that one falls more into a festival than anything because, right? And I don't think it's really char characteristic of here because, well, it's at the celebration of our mother of, of Guadalupe. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And well, it's always on december i can't remember the exact date but okay it's so a december. very very beautiful celebration i think and well it's a custom that it didn't used to be that big but it has grown pretty big oh. recently in the recent years okay interesting cool all right nice okay anybody else armando lydia vero so, uh -huh. we have another one tell me vero Yes, we have a, one is a specific the I don't remember is the first of November or the two of November. The second, second November. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a tradition about the drivers. Okay. The driver yeah, they have they have the the own festival. Okay. Ah. They buy for all <laughs> the city uh -huh. in their trucks in their trucks. Okay. And they finish and they finish in the cemetery. Okay. Because that yeah, because they visit the for the last time their family who passed away. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And people yeah. get dressed of a woman yeah, yeah. and house and do a lot of noise since four I am. I don't oh. know, they have okay. and it's a tradition just here in Metapan. Cool. All right. And what is the name of the tradition exactly? I think Trucker's Day. Oh. Trucker's Day. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You see, I'm learning about Metapan here. <laughs> All right. Hey, All of I, us, the, the I, biggest part that we remember of that is the people in drugs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do have a custom that is difficult to remove from Metapan. Which one? Which, which one? Uh, it's some some words that we use when we are like uh, there there is some words like ba it's something like so, some like like a monosyllable kind of syllables huh like a muletilla when, no it's like monosyllables that it's you clams. say some when someone tell you something ba uh, or oh. hey like plans right okay oh. and it's really difficult to get rid of it <laughs> all I, right i just remembered another one that we are somewhat known for uh -huh. I think in santa ana that is for sinking the sweet bread in coffee okay I, it's well i think it's a common trait that people of santa ana find of, um, of us oh really okay Cool. At least from the people that I know from Santa Ana. That... Okay, all right. Okay, interesting. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go on. What was the other word that we have after that one? After customs, you remember? Let's check Festival. it. Festivals? 
festivals. All right, so those are like pretty much relate to what we were talking about, all right? But do you have like a major festival there at the Metapan, something that is like only happening at Metapan? Like a big festival or not really? Only here, I think not. Okay, all right, okay. When are your fiestas patronales? We got two. Oh my goodness, Eric, really? <laughs> at the end of June and October 2nd, uh, November 2nd. All right, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. So we got like festivities, right. we got events. You have like parades? Park. Yeah. Okay, cool, interesting. All right, okay, thank you. What's the other one after festival? Uh, yes, Daisy. I think a uh, festival of milk festival. Oh, cool. Yeah. I want to go to that one. I love milk. <laughs> yeah, and cooking to different, um, for example, food about the milk. Really? When yeah, is that? For example, um, uh -huh. And create the, the big caramel. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I think it is. Nice, interesting. Yeah. When is that festivity or when is that festival, guys? Um, I remember that. Usually, usually they do it um, on February. Okay. January or February. Oh, okay, cool. You have, yeah. to, come, you have to come. A commission. To they, have... A touristic commission okay. decides what month will be. Oh, really? So yes. it's never like a steady, on a steady date, like they always move no, it. Never. No, no, never. Uh, but it's between those two months, Vero. Either January. Yeah, it's January. between the, yeah. We, right. we, we have a gastronomy festivals every right. month. Okay. And one of, one of the months they decide to the milk festival. Oh, cool. Oh, interesting. We have the better, we have the better diet products from all the countries. You have to come to try it. Really? Yeah. My goodness, Julio. You know, when the, the, the whole thing of the COVID-19 is over, I'm going to go to Metapan then. <laughs> Very good. Okay, what's the other word after that one, guys? Historical Any? sites. Historical sites. So what is the definition? Uh, Roxana or Efrain or Lydia, Armando, I don't see you guys or anybody else that want to tell me what would be the definition of historical sites. Anybody? Jonathan, what do you have for historical sites? Uh, well, historical sites are places where things happen in the past. All right. Okay. Very nice. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have uh, guys particular historical sites at Metapan? Yes, we have. Uh, we have many, many places like that. For example, in the rural area, we have uh, a place, his name is uh, Casco Romano de San Jose. I don't okay. know how to say that in English. Right, it's a proper that, name. Uh -huh. Yeah, that place is so beautiful. Uh, oh, really? You, come, you have to go there. Cool. Hmm. Uh, as, uh, I believe that a uh, very important historical site in, here in Metapan will be the main church okay yeah of course all right cool That's, nice well it has seen a lot of things happening here <laughs> <laughs> i believe so yeah okay very nice okay after his historical sites what do we have what's the other word la portada it's a church it's an old church very very old church it's by the riverside um, Okay. Oh, all right. Interesting. Uh, right. Uh huh. The other one is nightlife. Nightlife. Yes. Okay. So, how would you do? Uh, Ed, uh, let's see. I don't know, Lydia. How would you define nightlife? Lydia Armando. Uh, anybody? Uh -huh. I'm not sure about what is the meaning of nightlife. Mm. So, if you can explain me. Sure. Please. All right. Yeah, of course. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Let's see if Jonathan, can you help us define what nightlife is? It's what is missing from this town. 
All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that definition is going to help Lydia understand it. Uh -huh. it's, it's like so, pa it's the, like the parties that you go in. in the, the scenes. Yeah. Cafes, uh, parties. Right. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. Is like, what do you do mm, at night? Right. No. Like, Basically, yeah, different very... activities that happen after the sun sets. That's right. And not, I mean, some people just believe that only partying and stuff, but no, it's like anything that happens at night. In other countries or other cities, you have museums open at night, you have shopping malls open at night, you have restaurants, you have, I don't know, theaters. So everything that happens, just like Miguel said, after like day hours kind of thing, that's nightlife. Of course, it includes like bars and, you know, dancing and drinking and all that, but it's not only that, all right? So Metapan doesn't have nightlife. No, it's very quiet, quiet I think. Yeah, that. All right, Joseph, you're saying yes. Where do you go dancing or drinking, Joseph? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, okay. No, has Metapan has a nightlife when the people go to discotheque. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, this, well, I, I don't visit this uh, this place, but, but um, has. Um, Mil Amores. Uh, like I, don't, I don't go to. I don't go to this place. Uh, <laughs> and the people eat uh, Mexican food. Someone told him. Right? Yeah, someone uh, told him. He was just passing by, right? Mexican food is <laughs> okay. Guadalajara tacos. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Oh, nice. All right. You guys are making me hungry here. All right. Very yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> uh, after nightlife, what's the other word? Shopping. Shopping? Or do we have no, scenery? Scenery, 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 right? Scenery. Yeah. Scenery. What about scenery? Uh, what does what is the definition scenery. for scenery? Uh Edwin, what's the definition for scenery? Scenery, uh, very good places to, to okay. visit. Okay. And share with your friend. I don't know. Right. Okay. Okay. Sure. So do you have like beautiful scenery in Metapan, guys? For me, yeah. It is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Going up to Monte Cristo and seeing the city from there is God, beautiful. So, what is Monte Cristo? It's a it's our national and, park. Uh, oh. Okay. Park of, I can't remember. All right. So, is it at a, a like? Is it on a high place like that? That park? Yeah. A mountain. It's a mountain. Yeah. Cool. Oh my goodness. So today I think it was more like learning for me than for you then because I'm learning a lot from Etapan now. <laughs> Actually, there are a place that you can have the three spots of the three countries that is oh. called Rifinio. Yes. yes. So you got the three spots, Honduras, Guatemala, and then Salvador. And El Salvador. Place. Cool. Yeah. All right. Interesting. You see how interesting Metapan can be? Very nice. Okay. Is there anything else after that one shop? Right? Yeah. It, it's beautiful. It's beautiful the sunset overlooking the Metapan Lagoon. Oh my goodness. Everybody's going like, yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice. You guys love Metapan. I like that. Very nice. All right. Okay, very nice. Would you like to come to San Salvador to live, not to visit, but would you like to like live in San Salvador? Julio no, says no. I tried once. No. I don't All like right. it. No. It's, it's, it's a, a lot no, of traffic. No. Everything. More traffic. I like, I like beach. And the smoke. Uh, yeah. They rub us twice. Oh my goodness, really, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, By Chile, Japan colony? <laughs> oh my god, why did you go there? <laughs> All right. Now, I was just about to ask that about Metapan. Is it like a safe town? One of the most safe towns yes. in all the country. Oh, I think goodness. it's pretty safe, yeah. Yeah, all right. It used to be, it used to be. All right. Efrain, would you like to like come and live in San Salvador, Efrain, or no, thank you? Yeah, I think I would. I you would. would, okay. Yeah, but. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and Eric, you said, no, why not, Eric? I like here. It's it's quiet here. Yeah. It's safer. Right. And I don't know. It's better place. I used to live there, but it's so stressful there. Yeah. 
it's really hard in the morning. Maybe you are with a lot of people behind you or you at your side. Maybe right. on the bus you are maybe with like. Uh, yeah, you're all cramped. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very nice. And how are you guys doing the COVID nineteen in Metapan? Now really bad. Okay. I have been, I haven't lived left my left my house in months. Really, Miguel. <laughs> I think that's the safer thing to do. Very good. All right. Interesting. All right. Very good. Vero, and you right now, Vero, you said you told me that you don't live in Metapan right now. Was yes, it you? I live here. Who told me no, that's no, not no, living no. here? I live here. Okay. Then I, I I miss the information. All right. Very good. Okay. Interesting. All right, guys. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to show you these pictures and I was going to send you to your groups, but because we have like about five minutes, we can do it together here rather than going to uh, your groups here. So you have, you have these, like, I think it's like about eight pictures that I have here. Can you see them? Yeah. All right. Very good. So um, what could you tell me about the first picture of the mountain? Uh, it's supposed to be Japan or some country like that. What would you tell me about that? talking about you know architecture what do you think uh their lives styles are is it a bc kind of city or how do you see it from here of course on my side there isn't much that i can say about it because it's one of my favorite styles i right. i really don't get what it's it but that sort of architecture is yes i can I only see it that's beautiful Right. Okay. Interesting. Miguel. Very nice. Okay. All right. Anybody else t talking to me about the first picture that we see? How do you see it? Do you find it interesting? Not really. Yeah, because I think it's... I have a good scenery. Scenery. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have a big, nice mountain over there. All right. Julio, you were about. Kijima. Oh, probably. Or know. how do you call that? No, it's not another mountain from. From Japan. Yeah, it's a Japanese picture, but I don't know from where. All right, very good. Julio, I think you were going to say something. Yeah, I was going to say mountain. that they have the oldest architecture on the world and one of the most beautiful. Right, okay, very good. All right, what about this picture right here, guys, with this like kind of like old houses? Whoops. Uh, oh my. Oh my goodness, what did I do? This one right here, that's what I wanted to show you anyway. Aha, uh -huh, Jonathan, how do you see uh, that picture? Uh -huh. uh, it, it looks like a dramatic Aust Austrian style. Of it's actually building. from Germany, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, okay. Yeah, that, that, that pinpointed to that area. Right, I okay. think so. All right, nice, okay. Now, do you, you think it's quiet? Do you think it's like, you know, nice to live in kind of thing or not really? Looks pretty nice, but... Must be nice in German. <laughs> seeing the roofs, it uh -huh. does seem like it does snow there because that kind of roof is especially for uh, resisting the snow because... Of course, so both... <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Imagine our like that right so they don't work for snow very good nice observation um, there, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay joseph what do you see here joseph on this picture is paris yes it's paris yes uh-huh would you like paris. to visit that place or have you ever been there or something um I, I, I don't visit this place, but I like it. Right. Okay. Now I stayed a block from there. Sorry? I stayed like a block from Are where the serious? picture was taken. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right. Now, when you guys think of, let's say, when you guys think of traveling to another country, not to like within, within El Salvador, but like traveling not for a job, but for pleasure kind of thing that you want to go. What is the first thing that you think of? Because of the architecture, because of the costumes, because of the nightlife, what do you, because of the scenery, what do you think of when you say, okay, I want to go to this country? Money, yeah, but besides money, let's say you have it and you're going to go, but what makes you go to that place that you have decided? Is it the scenery, the food, the architecture? 
the nightlife. What is it, guys? Well, on my side, I would I would love to visit many places because of the architecture or right. historical sites like the okay. uh, Colosseum that was in a, right. one of the pictures there. Yes. In Roma, I think. Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. The so because of the teacher. Roxana, say it again. Excuse me. The the cuisine of Mexico. Ah, very good. Okay. Very nice. Okay. What about Vero? What would drive you to like another country? Like you say, okay, no, I would like to see the architecture or the traditions or the nightlife. What, what moves you to go to another country to visit? If you would have the money, of course. Uh, so many things, no, the culture, okay. the, the weather, sure. have okay. a different weather than, than here. Of course, yes. The people, the cuisine, okay. of course, the cuisine. Of course. You have yeah. to <laughs> always, always try food from other places. Right. Okay. Oh. Very nice. Interesting. All right. What about Armando? Armando, you've been quiet tonight. Uh -huh. What would take you to another country? What would you think about? Like if you would have to go and visit another country? Hi, teacher. First, I will think in touristic places that I would want to go and the way how people, how tourists are, I don't want to say, are treated or how people behave? Yes, like how people behave with okay. tourists and things like that. All right, interesting. How cool should. Okay. Um, All right, cool. And um, other countries. Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, guys. So the, the time when. Uh, went out again all right so we're out of time uh, i need to go because i have the other class tomorrow we'll keep on talking about adjectives and stuff that's why the introduction of talking about places and 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 what we did tonight okay so it was very nice to see you again all right i'm glad that you're safe and you're there working and everything so i'll see you tomorrow thank you for being with me tonight bye guys have a good night bye, bye. Have a nice night. you too bye